All right, we're gonna try the zero to 60 test. Hit the reset button on the Diablo tuner and see what we can do on this big truck. Seven point three two on a two thousand twelve Ram fifteen hundred. This is a four by four crew cab. What's up, Mopar fam? Today we're gonna do another video on my buddy's truck. He's got a two thousand twelve Dodge Ram fifteen hundred with the five seven Hemi. And we are going to be installing the Diablo Sport Trinity T1000 programmer on it that used to be in Frostbite. As you guys know, I switched over to HP tuners and I don't need this tuner anymore. So we're going to let him have it and he's going to actually run it on the truck. We're going to install it. We're going to put the 93 Performance Octane tune on it. And we're also going to turn off the MDS and go test the truck out. See what he thinks. Stay tuned. All right, so this is inside the truck and we're gonna run the, the power cord and the tuner basically the same way I had it on Frostbite. We're gonna pop off this side panel right here and we're gonna run the Diablo cable behind that panel, plug it into the OBD port and then we're gonna run it up to the top of the dash where the Diablo tuner will stick onto the windshield. The only thing you need to get this panel off is a flathead screwdriver and it just pops off. All right guys, so we have the Diablo Sport tuner stuck to the windshield right now. We have the cable ran under the pod here behind the panel and it's plugged into the truck. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the key, we're gonna put the key in the ignition and turn it on. Me and the guys. And then the screen's gonna pop up, give you a warning, basically a warning paragraph, yada, 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 just hit accept. All right, after you've updated your tool to the computer and all the updates have been installed, you should be good to go. Hit the performance button and it should walk you through from here. Accept the disclaimer. Calibration update via DSDL was completed successfully. Press the enter key to validate the vehicle calibration. We're gonna hit okay. And what it's doing now is it's actually updating the vehicle and pulling the stock tune file and it's gonna save it to the Diablo Trinity. And you're gonna hear the vehicle make some noises, some beeping, some lights are gonna flash while this process happens. This is normal. And this will take a little while. Sometimes it can take up to five to 10 minutes. Make sure you have a good, healthy, charged battery. Um, I recommend taking the vehicle on a drive, maybe 15 to 20 minute drive, and then come back and do this immediately while your battery's charged up or hook a battery charger to the car just make, make sure your battery is going to make it through this process. That's the biggest thing. We have got to the calibration update successful. We're going to hit continue. And it should reboot up to the main screen where we should be able to go into the performance tunes and select what tune we want to load. We're gonna accept the disclaimer and we should get the home screen right here. All right, so now we're gonna hit performance with the key on, accept the disclaimer again, and it should pop up a list of tunes. So you got quick adjust and Diablo tunes. We're gonna go into the Diablo can tunes and this is where you can select what tunes you want. Performance 93, which is what we're gonna go with. They got mileage booster tune, they got a towing tune, 
performance 91 octane tune the 87 tune and then your stock tune file that you can modify or change uh, different pids in there so we're going to go back up to the 93 tune because we're going to start you know might as well start right out of the box with the hot one right so we're going to select it it's going to tell you what this tune is for make sure you're running 93 octane fuel which we are and we're going to choose that it's going to tell you that your original backup will now be saved which means it's going to pull your tune file and save it to this tool right here And this may take a few moments here for this process to go through. All right, so we got that completely loaded. It's going to tell you to turn the key off. So we're going to turn off the key. I'm going to select continue. We're going to let this screen boot up. It should tell you to turn the key back on. Yep, so it says turn the key back on. And then you're going to hit continue. Let that boot up. All right, so now we have original backup has been saved. So we're going to hit continue. <coughs> All right, so right here, now we are ready to install the 93 tune or we can modify it. Now, if you are just wanting to load this, the factory 93 tune from Diablo, you'd hit the install button and go from there. We're actually going to change a few things, so I'm going to go down to Modify Tune because we're going to turn the MDS system off on this RAM. We do not want it to go into the deactivation cylinder gas savings mode. We don't care about that. So we're going to turn that off, and we're also going to increase the throttle percentage so that you get the feeling of having, like, say, a pedal commander or the roar pedal. So we're going to go down here to Modify the Tune. It's going to give you a disclaimer. We're going to hit a Agree. And you're going to go down to modify parameters. Now, if any moment or time you feel like you screwed something up, you can always reset parameters and it'll reset the parameters back to the factory Diablo settings. But we're going to go to modify. And this is all the PIDs you can change. So, I mean, you can change your idle, cooling fans on, off, all that stuff. But what we're looking for is the MDS system. So there's that. And we're going to turn it off. And it's going to say, are you sure you want to make this change? This effect will happen next time you install the tune. Yes. So now you'll see it has a little star next to it because that PID has been modified. So the MDS on this truck is now turned off. Now we're going to go down here. We can also change shift points if we want to. We're not going to mess with that today. Um, we can change the rev and speed limits. Um, there's the throttle. So here's the throttle position. We're going to hit OK, and this is a throttle booster. So the more we move the arrow to the right, it's going to increase the sensitivity. And what we're going to go to is, I usually go to about 15%. And that should do the trick for what we want. So it should give it a pretty crisp and firm pedal. So we're going to hit Enter. And it's going to say, are you sure you want to do this? It's going to go into effect next time you write the tune. We say yes. So that has been changed as well. Um, if we had different size tires on, we could change the tire size so that our speedometer will read correctly. You can turn the traction control off. Lots of other things in here. Uh, rev and speed limiters. I'm just going to click on that. And one thing we may change vehicle speed limiter we might as well raise that up so diablo will automatically change it you see it's going to top out at 155 if we wanted to we can increase that to 190 
but I don't think Ryan's, Ryan's over here shaking his head. 155 is good, so we're going to leave that alone. So we're going to cancel out, and it's going to say modified cancel. Um, but that's how you would change that if you want to increase that or not. So we're pretty much good to go. We've changed everything we're going to change in this 93 tune. So we're going to hit back, and it's going to say install tune now. We're going to say yes. And it's going to have you go through some more key on, key off. You don't want to do 190? I don't need to do 190. <laughs> I think the factory cuts out at like 110 on these trucks. Well, you can go 155 now because that's where they got it set up. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm going that fast, something's wrong. <laughs> Yeah, either in a good way or a bad way. I'm something. Either, I'm, I'm either running or going to. <laughs> or running from. <laughs> yeah, you're either running or running to. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to turn the key off. We're going to hit continue. And this will boot up. It's going to tell us to turn the key back on. Key on. Hit continue. And I believe this is the last one. It should be ready to go. All right, so now you will see the t the tuner says performance 93 modified tune has been written to the vehicle. And it says modified next to it because we modified that tune. We changed, uh, we turned off the MDS and we increased the throttle percentage. Now, if you would have, if you would have loaded this tune um, straight, just the regular tune from Diablo, it would not say modified. It would just say the performance 93 tune. But we are good, so you're going to hit continue. And the tool is going to reboot and go right back to the home page. And you're going to accept the disclaimer again. And we should get the home page right here. So the tune is in the truck. We are ready to crank the truck and go for a drive. Um, what I'm going to do real quick is I already have a gauge layout saved on this tuner. So I'm going to go to monitoring. It's going to say start the engine. I'm just going to go ahead and proceed. And... Oh shit, it may have deleted. Ah. When we did it, it deleted my gauge my gauge layout that I had saved. All right, so we're going to go with the the pre-tune gauge layout from Diablo which they put in like spark advance base spark oil temperature intake manifold temp so forth you can change the page you'll get a rpm oil pressure mile per hour map sensor um, big rpm gauge if you want it but that's their layout that they have uh, it actually deleted my saved files because we returned this tool back to stock to install it on his truck so we're just gonna run with this gauge layout for now but other than that the tune is in the truck and it's ready to go yeah i had a custom j green gauge set in there that was a lot better than theirs oh well And 
and as you can see we're running so the vehicle is getting data now on the gauges here rpm So now it's time to go for a test drive and see how he likes it. All right, guys, we are in the Ram truck. Text message. <laughs> Woo. All right, we're in the new Ram truck here, the 2012 that has the Diablo Sport 93 performance tune in it this is a stock truck besides the diablo tune that's in it now and it does have a, a mopar performance cold air intake on the truck along with custom exhaust this truck has true dual exhaust so we're going to go try out the 93 tune or should i say ryan is going to try out the 93 tune that we modified a little bit we turned off the mds system and we increased the throttle pedal sensitivity a little bit but it should have put some power in the truck a little bit with a 93 tune so it should feel a little bit more peppy than before definitely feeling the uh, throttle change Hemi's humming. Yep. <laughs> the Hemi's humming. Now, this is the same truck that we installed the roar pedal on a few weeks back, which is right now it is actually removed, and we are strictly using the Diablo tuner right now. Feel different compared to the roar pedal, or what do you think? About the same? It, I mean, you could definitely feel the throttle change. It, actually feels a little bit better than what the roar pedal did when using it yeah i would think it would feel probably a little better having an actual but, custom tune yeah i think it's the fact that not only is it changed the throttle response it has the other stuff working with it as well yeah yeah i mean the diablo tune you know this is a can tune from diablo sport it's not a terrible tune by no means but um there's a, it's a custom tune you're gonna have you know the fuel mapping is gonna be changed the timing is gonna be changed a little bit um, everything in the tune is modified over the stock tune file so you're you're definitely gonna feel a lot of changes compared to how the stock file feels that's for sure she might do a damn a tire peel on this wet pavement yeah I was wondering <laughs> I know on a little bit of hill she'll definitely do a burnout. Yeah. Hell, we ought to try the uh, the zero to sixty test here somewhere. Yeah. Kind of like to do it without without having a whole bunch of houses around. Yeah. Now they change uh, like in that in their tuning they're going to change the shift points around a little bit. I don't think they're crazy, but well, I noticed it should probably downshift better and have a different shifting point. Well, I somewhere. noticed uh, back there after it got, I think it shifted up to about fourth gear. It was a lot longer, yeah, taking to get to fifth than it nor than it used to. Yeah, they usually raise the shift points up on their tunes as well. Not crazy, but they'll raise them up a little bit so they can stretch that power band out a little bit more. I don't know what my zero to 60 was before. Neither do I. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we could always look it up, see what a zero to 60 is supposed to be on it. Yeah. All right, we're going to try the zero to 60 test. Hit the reset button on the Diablo tuner and see what we can do on this big truck. Oh, shit. 7.32. 7.32. On a 2012 Ram 1500, this is a 4x4 crew cab. I wonder what it would do stock. <laughs> I 
and that really wasn't a, like the best road either. The road we're on is kind of like hilly and <laughs> curvy, <laughs> to say the least. One day, now that you know how to work that tuner, it's pretty straightforward. One day when you get a chance, like go in there and load the mod uh, just the stock modified tune or whatever, just load that tune, try it, and see what it does, and then load back the performance tune because it's doing seven sixes. Seven, yeah, seven three to seven six. That's the most I've honestly played with that thing because I've never did it with with uh, my truck. I kept wanting to, but never did it. <laughs> I always forgot about that damn feature every time, honestly. I can't remember what it, yeah, so it'll do eight quarter, zero to 100, zero to 60. No, we ain't trying to do a zero to 100. Oh, let's do a zero to 100 on this windy road. It won't make it. <laughs> if you want the gauge default, if you want the gauges, you just hit the monitoring. hit okay or you can tap it whatever when we were doing the pulls with the roar pedal it definitely seemed like it shifted a lot sooner on the factory tune it seems like these shift points they have on Diablo is winding it out more. yeah it's it definitely after about third gear it starts to go really a little bit further pull. before it goes to the next gear yeah so it's actually it's really trying to get as much as it can from the lower gears. Yeah, definitely pulling. Hail to the year! But that's it, guys. We got the '93 Performance Tune loaded up on his truck. He's gonna drive this thing for a little while, and uh, he'll give me some feedback with it. But it feels like it woke the truck up a little bit. It's not a tremendous horsepower change. I think Diablo states that. They give you around 15 to 20 horsepower with their tuning. Um, custom tune is going to give you a lot more, no doubt. But to start out, definitely gives you a lot of options. To You know, you can change your parameters around. You can load different tunes. And then in the future, this programmer will also let you load custom tuning when you're ready to get a custom tune. But other than that, guys, stay tuned. And we'll see you on the next one. Peace.